بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دی تھرڈ پارٹ آف دی ٹویلتھ لیکچر آف اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ پروبیبلٹی تھیری وی ول کنٹینیو وتھ دی ٹاپک ہائپر جیومیٹرک ڈسٹریبیوشن ا کارٹن کنٹینز لائٹ بلب ان وچ 3 آر ڈیفیکٹو اینڈ ٹوٹل وی ہیو 24 bulbs in the carton so as you can see from here that total bulbs in the carton are 24 which means capital N is equal to 24 what is the probability that if a sample of 6 is chosen at random from the carton of bulbs x will be defective So here they are saying the random variable associated with the defective bulbs. So it means the uh, defective bulbs in the carton are our number of successes which are 3 in numbers. It means 3 is equal to k. So how many non-defectives are there? as total number of bulbs are 24 and total number of defectives are 3 and total number of non defectives will be 24 minus 3 which is capital N minus K which is equal to 21 so what they are saying that 6 bulbs are chosen at random it means small n will be equal to 6 so x will be the number of defectives so according to the hyper geometric distribution probability mass function will be k c x n minus k and small n minus x divided by 24 c 6 it means it is capital n c small n so this is the probability mass function of hyper geometric distribution on substituting the values we will get this form of the probability mass function so if you want to find that probability that there is no defective and as x is representing the number of defective so we will substitute x is equal to 0 which is equal to 3c0 21c6 whole divided by 24 c6 which is equal to 0.40316 that is the number of defective probability of the number of defectives next example suppose that automobiles arrive at a dealership in lots of 10 and that for time and resource considerations only 5 out of each 10 are inspected for safety The five cars are randomly chosen from the 10 on the lot. If two out of 10 cars on the lot are below standards for safety, what is the probability that at least one out of five cars to be inspected will found not meeting the safety standards? So here we have that there are 10 cars in uh, there are 
ten automobiles in a lot of uh, in a lot. That means capital N is ten, and they are saying that if the five cars are randomly chosen from the ten on the lot, it means the randomly selected sample is small n, which is five. And as we are interested in finding out the cars uh, which are not meeting the safety standards, so it is say, uh, written here that if two out of ten cars on the lot are below standards for safety, so it means here k is equal to two. So. What we have to find, we have to find that at least one out of five cars are to be inspected will, will be found not meeting the safety standards. As we are interested in, in the cars who are not meeting the uh, safety standards, so we associate our random variable with the cars which are not meeting the safety standards. If x is equal to zero, it means there is none. Uh, there is not any car in the. Uh, Selected sample which is not meeting the uh, safety standard. So, according to the PDF, a uh, probability mass function of the hypergeometric distribution, which is in the form of this KCX, here we have K is equal to 2 and capital N is equal to 10, small n is equal to 5. So, they are saying that at least 1 out of 5. So, they are specifying the lower limit that minimum 1 car should not meet the safety standard. So what we substitute, we substitute, substitute x is equal to 1. So 2c1, 10 minus 2, 5 minus 1, uh, whole divided by 10c5, this would be 0 0.556, that is one car which is not meeting the safety standard. This is the probability of one car not meeting the safety standard. But what we have to find, we have to find the probability that at least one out of the five cars. So this is this global limit. You can go above this as much as uh, you are allowed. So uh, we have substituted x is equal to 2 here. That is the probability of two cars not meeting the safety standards which is on substituting and solving you will get 0 0.22. So this is the probability that one car will not meet the safety standard. This is the probability that two cars will not meet the safety standards. And as you have to find out the probability that at least one out of the five cars will be inspected and found that not meeting the safety standards. So we will, we will add both the probabilities, probability of one car not meeting the safety standard plus probability of two cars not meeting the safety standard as the word at least is used here. We cannot go further as we substitute here x equal to 3 and find out the probability of three cars not meeting the safety standard because it is written here that only two cars of out of five cars are uh, below the standards for safety. So we are restricted till 2. So uh, there are only two cars in the lot which are not meeting the safety standards. So when we say that uh, what is the probability that at least one out of five cars are not meeting the safety standards. So probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 which is equal to 0 0.778. So this is the probability that at least one car is not meeting the safety standard. We have to stop here at probability x equal to 2 because there are only two cars in the lot which are not meeting the safety standard. Means and variance of hypergeometric distribution. As this is the uh, hypergeometric distribution is uh, uh, the one of the uh, uh, it is matched with the binomial distribution. The difference between the binomial and hypergeometric distribution is that binomial is done uh, in binomial. The experiment is done with replacement, and in hypergeometric distribution, the experiment is done without replacement. So, as we know, the mean of the binomial is n into p. Uh, so, 
here we substitute k over capital M instead of uh, p because we know that p is the probability of success and we know that the probability's definition is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So we know that uh, k is representing the number of successes in the sample space or in the population. So it would be k, the number of favorable outcomes and total number of outcomes are capital N. So this is p is equal to k by n. So as we know mu is equal to n over p, so we will substitute k over n instead of p. And as we know that variance of the binomial is sigma square and p q, where q is 1 minus p. So this would be in the form n into p into 1 minus p. And this is n, this is p, this is 1 minus p. And this factor will come along uh, the variance because of the without replacement sampling. So this is the variance of the hypergeometric distribution. So now if you want to find out the mean in this particular example, what you will do, you will simply substitute mu is equal to n into k over capital N, which will be equal to 5 into 2 over 10 which will be equal to 1. So this is the mean of this particular scenario or this particular random variable that the number of cars not meeting the safety standard. So this is representing there that there is on average one car in a lot uh, which is not meeting the safety standard. Similarly you can find out the variance of the uh, random variable as well which is equal to 10 minus 5 uh, 5 divided by 10 minus 1 as it is n minus n over n minus 1 into 5 into as it is k over n so it is uh, 1 as we know uh, 2 by 10 And it will be 1 minus 2 by 10. On simplifying this, you will get the variance of the uh, hypergeometric distribution uh, for this particular statement or for this particular example.